Hi, welcome to this video. Hopefully it's going to be a little bit informative for you. So on Christmas Day, we had the pleasure of our washing dryer blowing up. So I bought a new one. It is this uh, Hot Point. And uh, I thought I'd kind of talk to you about the experience we've had so far, the few weeks of having it, why I selected it, and hopefully help you make a more informed decision if you're looking to buy this same unit. Okay, so the washer dryer we're talking about is this Hot Point um, RD966J washer dryer. So obviously it's got um, the dryer where you don't have to have an exhaust outlet, I can't remember the, the proper term of it. Um, so that makes it really helpful. It's A-class energy rated, so it's gonna be relatively uh, efficient in terms of the energy it uses. And it has a, a nine kilogram washing capacity and a six kilogram drying capacity is so great um, for family size. The thing I liked about it most is kind of the style. I prefer um, white, white goods as opposed to silver or black. You've got a good contrast here with black screen and the black dryer door. The negative about the dryer door is it does attract uh, dust. So uh, you need to wipe it over every now and then to uh, keep it looking nice and clean. Let's have a quick look at some of the features uh, I really like about this washer dryer. So, might not seem uh, very important or interesting, but the, the, the softener drawer is really handy uh, for a couple of reasons. One, clearly uh, labelled as you'd expect for where you put things, but it's really handy to have this easy access information to the different uh, functions. So you don't use most of the functions on your washer dryer, but it's easy to see uh, what each of the ones are doing. So we have anti-grease uh, cleaning functions, daily cleaning functions, specials, and again, some clarity on um, kind of what you're doing for the loading areas which is really cool as mentioned already a uh, really good uh, size drum it has I think like most washing machines have this now but antibacterial uh, kind of lip on here which stops the build up of mold and all that kind of stuff which is handy another thing I really like about this um, washer dryer is I'm sure like most of you you put things on and then you realize there's a rogue sock somewhere um, and you can quite easily just kind of pause the cycle assuming it's not uh, full of water over kind of the fill line here and it literally just allows you to instantly open it again my other washer dryer I never used to do that you used to have to wait like two minutes or something which is pretty cool um, also has this direct injects function basically what that does is it pre kind of mixes the detergent with the water to make it so the detergent's more active and working as the wash cycle starts Let's have a quick look at um, looks like we turn it on. Okay, so I really like um, the screen. It tells you what the cycle is, um, the temperature is going to run at, and the cycle speed. So it has up to 1600 uh, RPM cycle speed on this, and as we turn through, it gives you information about um, what function it is, how long uh, that cycle will last. The rinsing whether it's steaming or not um, the current temperature that's going to run at and the spin cycle and we can adjust all of these as we see fit within certain parameters for each of um, the cycles when you first turn the washer dryer on it spins a couple of times to basically make sure it's stable and it can auto balance itself and it will then adjust the spin uh, parameter down if it feels like it can't run at its maximum speed also, we have the ability to delay a cycle. So, for example, uh, I'm with Octopus Energy for my electricity, and I have um, a four hour off peak window at the early hours of the morning. So, I can set a delay to this runs at the cheaper electricity, where it's only costing me five pence a kilowatt as opposed to 15. So, that's uh, really handy. There's a link in the description if you're interested in that. And we can modify um, all these functions to just do dry only. Uh, just, just drying. It's got an auto clean function, which is really handy to keep it kind of nice and clean. It has a steam uh, and multi rinse capability. If you've got kids, you also have the option to uh, lock it as well, so people can't come along and twist and modify things whilst it's mid cycle. So as mentioned before, I like the fact that we can see everything on this screen, what it's planning to do, uh, especially kind of how long is left in the cycle, so you kind of know that the washer dryer is doing what you want it to do. 
The only thing that I don't like, which isn't the end of the world, is most of the programs automatically have a dry function. And we don't always want to dry uh, our clothes in the dryer, especially in the summer. Um, so you just got to make sure that it's kind of doing what you want it to be doing. Um, and you can see here that there's certain functions where you just can't change what's happening. So this daily wash mix is a wash and dry, and there's nothing you can do to kind of disable that drying function. So it just takes a bit of time to get used to what you're doing uh, and kind of how this is going to work properly. Uh, the steam function seems to work quite well. Um, most of the clothes that we have don't tend to crease that much uh, anyway, I've found, but it is quite handy. So, yeah, that's really the only thing that I don't like about it. Um, some people say that the, the dry cycles are quite long. I think they're quite comparable to our old washer dryer, but I think it works really well. I'm also surprised just how quiet it is. So, I have got a dishwasher on and the boiler's just kicked in, but I'm just going to kick off uh, a 30 minute wash cycle and you can hear uh, and see kind of what this looks like. Really little vibration and it's pretty damn quiet as well. And that's it for this uh, little demonstration review of the Hotpoint RD966J. So, yep, only needs uh, one cold water inlet as well. Comes with uh, the connector for that and the drain adapter. And uh, yeah, so far really happy with this Hotpoint purchase. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.